The following is an edited recording from a live video broadcast. Image and audio quality may vary. Is there life left in the Transformers movie franchise? And the reason why I'm asking this question is because they've been pumping out Transformer movies for years. Some of them have just rated really terribly, yet there's still more to come. And they're making them as one thing, but are people actually watching these things and enjoying them? And hence the reason why I'm asking the question. It is an interesting question because Transformers would be one of our most popular cabinets in the shop. We sell a lot of Transformer toys. And that popularity with collectors does not jump across to what the studios are making as movies. Almost universally, when they pull out another Transformer movie, everybody hates it or is disappointed by it. The the sort of best comments you get on the Transformer movies was, it was better than I thought it was going to be. Maybe it's a three out of ten. You know? um, the thing that I think when we talk about a lot of these franchises is you've got the money makers who want to make a movie that sells toys and they get in the way of actually a decent script and real writers. And I think the Transformer franchise, I don't think it's going to go away because they're just going to make cheaper movies for the returns because they sell a lot of toys. But I think the well has been poisoned so badly by movie after movie that have disappointed fans and changed like the the backstories and then rebooted in the 80s. I mean, a good example is the Bumblebee movie, which is mm. not the last one, the one before, where they had two minutes at the start on Cybertron and every single person who came in and talked about that movie said, that's the movie we want to see. Why aren't they making that movie with all the G1 Transformers and the war on Cybertron and the, the origins and stuff? But they keep giving us boy and his car, girl mm. and his car, Mark Warburg and his truck or something like that. Um, when I, I have to say, when I went and saw the first Transformer movie, that helicopter comes in and then it freezes mm. and they make the Transformer noise from the cartoon, which is like nostalgia bait, and it transforms and the entire cinema erupted, uh, like cheered, which doesn't happen too much. And at the end of the movie, I like, they did a really good job on that. It was like eight out of ten. And there were two or three parts I didn't like. I didn't like the stupidness with the um, the spy and some of that. Mm. And I go, if they iron that out for the next movie, they've got a really good franchise. And what they seem to do is take the bits that no one liked and make them the central part of the next movie. And so I thought every every Transformer movie was half as good as the movie before. I don't think Transformers is losing steam because it sells toys. But as a creative movie franchise, I think it's pretty much, you know, ideas bankrupt. It's just the same thing over and over and over. When robots fighting robots is boring, you're doing something wrong. There's a lot to take from what you said. Um, when the first movie came out, it was great. It was. It just looked spectacular. Now, in retrospect, some people go, oh, it's a Michael Bay movie, a lot of explosions and all this sort of business. But it was a treat for the eyes. And I agree with you. When that helicopter turned up at the base and you don't realise it's actually a Transformer until it transforms, what a way to start a movie. And then that was like, oh, I am completely sucked into this. I'm hooked into it. It's working for me. The Shia LaBeouf character, take it or leave it. The whole thing with Megan Fox was the girl. Some of that is like, okay, where are we going with some of this? But where it was good, it worked really well. The robots looked spectacular. They sounded good. And it was a button pusher. And you go, oh, my God, this is fantastic. Okay, done, finish. And then suddenly there's another movie and another one and another one and another one. And I'm thinking, is anybody even watching these things anymore? You see them come up on TV and it's like people are just tuned out completely. And I agree with you. Um, everybody has the nostalgia for the TV series and the toys from the 80s. But those fans don't seem to come across to the, to the films that are being produced today. Bumblebee was an exception. A lot of people really dial into that. But I read tonight they're already looking at, spin-offs and sequels and connections with the J.I. Joe and whatever else and go, I think they've kind of someone's kind of lost the plot here. Maybe it's because from a digital digital perspective, they've got all the models of all the Autobots and the Decepticons. They don't have to recreate those guys. They can just shove them into a visual effects 
uh, washing machine and all this cool shit comes out and they go make a movie out of that. So They, they are yeah. a really interesting franchise where you look at the money they make and they do make a lot of money, but you find it very hard to find anyone who actually says they like them. And the other thing is they cut together an absolutely amazing trailer um, yeah. because, you know, they have robots transforming and robots fighting and big epic space stuff. And the thing is there's so much stuff going on on the screen. You go, I can't see anything. But, geez, it looks good and it sounds good. That's the most important thing. And the reason why I brought this up is because in the store you have a, a, one of your customers, uh, Roz, who comes to the store. She's a massive Transformer fan. Like, that's her, her bread and butter. But does she talk about the movies at all? Or was she, from her perspective, they just don't exist? Usually she talks about them the same as we have, where the first one was okay. There's a couple of good scenes in the other ones, but pretty much if they make toys from them, that's what she's interested in. You are right. Merchandise for the movies uh whichever movie it is doesn't seem to walk out the door as much as the 80s oh, stuff, stuff. and the thing that they've done over and over again with the transformer movie franchise they they dangle carrots like i said the yeah. the dinobots which then weren't as good as the dinobots you thought you were going to get and the last one where they did sort of an adaptation of the beast wars and I'm like, oh, that's actually good. They're rebooting. They're getting rid of the cars and stuff. We're going to... No, there's like five of the animal ones. And then it's all the normal Transformers again. So people who are really hyped up for a, a Beast Wars, Beast Machines movie, it, it didn't really get to that level. Mm. Um, so just to sort of finish up, uh, there's a convention that occurs in England. Uh, it's a Transformers convention. I don't know what it's called. I do wonder if someone walks in going, yep, Love the movies, they're the greatest thing ever. Forget the TV shows and the toys. I wonder if they get like ostracized or like sent out the <laughs> or banned from entry I, or whatever. So, I am sure uh, there's yeah. I am sure there's room in the trans community for everyone, Dags. <laughs> oh, oh, dude. Oh, that is absolutely fantastic. Gotta love that.